Hey guys, Tom here from Metal Loud and just have a little bit of a kind of update announcement video. As the time of making this video, I have officially hit 105 subscribers on YouTube. I want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel and supporting me throughout the last year and a half or so that I've been uploading these videos, uh, including all the live videos and things that I have. I now have officially 161 videos on the site. This will actually be the 162nd video on the site, and I have a lot more planned for you guys. So I know I've been a little bit light lately. Unfortunately, I've been dealing with a few things in my life as well as I have been traveling a little bit. I went on vacation uh, for a few, for about a week and a half or so in New Mexico. I've been in New Jersey the last two weekends for two different concerts that are, are up on the site as well. Videos from the last one I was just at and the one I was at a few weeks ago, which was actually a rally for Bernie Sanders. No, Bernie did not show up to that, but it was thrown by a amazing person that you've probably heard me mention, Henderson of The Alternative, which is a fantastic website for music. The staff is creative, they're talented, and they're passionate about it. They're all amazing people. You should go follow them. Look up the site. It's The Alternative. They are a, a ad-free, great way to get introduced to new music, to hear about old music, to everything music, everything you can want, and movies, and pretty much everything is available on that site, and I support the hell out of them. So go give them uh, you know, a look and a like, and just check them out. But Henderson threw a whole full-day concert of... Uh, in support of raising money for the Bernie Sanders campaign. And a ton of bands came out, some pretty big bands as well, including Hodero, one of my favorite bands, as well as A Will Away, who uh, just recently got signed or kind of blowing up a little bit uh, from my home state of Connecticut, which is pretty awesome to see that. And the whole concert just continued on, went all day. There was art exhibits. There was uh, Bernie Sanders cupcakes. There was a ton of stuff out there. And it was all a fantastic time. Time. And, you know, this dude, Henderson, threw the entire thing, and he's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. Uh, you could check out the footage that I got. Unfortunately, the audio came out really bad because I kind of messed up the settings on my camera when I did that. My bad. But they uh, managed to edit them together in something I feel kind of fit with the the flow of the concert so go ahead and check that video out and like i said check out the alternative for some awesome music news now last weekend well this weekend and <laughs> this last weekend i was in new jersey again to see hot gospel perform live and they are one of my favorite bands to see live because they are just so amazingly passionate on stage and so energetic and it's great and they just put out some of the best music they're really kind of doing something unique in the music scene that not a lot of other bands are really doing they definitely have a uh, unique style of hardcore music and it's great i got to hear a brand new song all of those videos are up now also got to hang out with the guys afterwards so i'm going to do a full uh, show review for that that'll be upcoming this week as well so look forward to that now I also have a couple of reviews planned for this week. Uh, I've already uploaded the Deftones review for Gore. I know it's a little bit late on that. Uh, it took me a lot of time to kind of really capture my feelings on that album. Took a few listens to really gather what I actually felt about it and how I actually uh, wanted to talk about it. So that video, that review is up now. You can go ahead and check that out. Give that a like if you if you want on there. Comment on it. Let me know what you thought about that album. A couple reviews planned for this week as well. Uh, there's going to be a uh, review for The Fall of Troy, their album they just released called OK. Um, we released uh, a review for the new Matt and Kim album, which just dropped. Um, the look at for that, there's a couple others, as well as I have a few things that I planned for the upcoming months. So the next upcoming months are kind of be a little bit crazy for me. I have a lot of personal things going on that I'm going to be having to deal with, but I'm going to try to push out as many reviews as I possibly can for you guys. I have some stuff planned. Some will probably spring up as albums drop. I have another review series that I'm hoping to get to. No guarantees on that. 
Uh, you can check out the Chariot Review series, which I finished with Sean Gonzalez when he actually was able to come out here. Uh, so we got all of those done. That entire series is up now as well as the Say Anything review series has concluded. I know I said I was going to revisit. I don't think it is. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get to that. I really kind of like what I said on the original review. So the next time I'm going to talk about that album will be next year with a one year later review. We'll go back and I will look at that album. Uh, I'm excited because I actually get to go see them upcoming in May. So that's going to be an awesome time. Um, fortunately, the venue doesn't allow video or anything there or that the my normal camera so you I'll get some shots of whatever I can do on my cell phone I'll try my best um, but probably not gonna have a lot of you know media from that but I will definitely be doing a show review for that uh, it's gonna be say anything museum mouth and me without you so uh, and I believe other bands team suicide so I'm really kind of excited for that that's something I'm gonna be looking forward to uh, seeing in the next couple weeks. So again, I have a lot of stuff planned for you guys. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get it out as much as possible and, you know, keep working on things for you so you kind of have something to keep yourselves entertained. And that's uh, basically just what I wanted to let you guys know. And again, I appreciate the subscription so much. It really means a lot to me. The support is basically what keeps me going here.